The number one question that the Resolve team has been getting recently as we talk to construction teams exploring BIM in VR is, should I buy a Quest 3 or should I buy the new Quest 3S? And what are the differences? Well, I got to try the Quest 3S a couple of weeks early at MetaConnect, and now we've had our hands on the Quest 3S for a while. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the differences between the 3S and the 3 to help you make a decision as you buy your first headsets or you scale up your existing deployment. So let's dive in. This is Meta's latest headset, the Quest 3S. It launched on October 15th, and that same day, we were showing off Resolve running on the Quest 3S at Autodesk University. So what's different about it? Well, just by looking at the profile, you can see that there are some visual differences to the hardware itself compared to the older Quest 3. But there's a lot of differences under the hood as well, which we'll dive into today. Let's start with the question that everybody asks. Is the Quest 3S an improvement over the Quest 3? My answer is no. You should think of the Quest 3S as an upgrade over the Quest 2. It is a refresh version of Meta's lower cost device. We'll jump into what exactly the upgrades are, but I just wanna get that out of the way. You can think of it as a Quest 3 Lite. The Quest 3S is a $299 device. The Quest 3 starts at $499. And so there are some trade-offs to make up for that cost difference. Let's start with processing power. The Quest 3S, believe it or not, has the exact same chip as the Quest 3. They both have a Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor. So that means when you're buying the more economical headset, you're not really taking a hit on performance. It's going to have the same chipset, which was not the case before when you had to pick between the Quest 3 and the Quest 2. The Quest 2 had an older chip that wasn't capable of the same things that the Quest 3 can do. Now, you don't have to make that trade-off. It also has the same amount of RAM. You have eight gigabytes of RAM here, and you have eight gigabytes of RAM on the Quest 3. That is really good news because it means whether you buy a 3 or a 3S, you're going to be capable of running the same large models on Resolve as you can on either headset. You're going to be able to open huge Navisworks or Revit files on either device just fine and at a comfortable frame rate, which is something that's really important as you evaluate headsets and software. You want to make sure that it's running as smoothly as possible so that people have a positive experience and your reviews aren't disrupted by low frame rates. So if they have the same chipset, how is it possible that the Quest 3S is cheaper than the Quest 3 and not an upgrade? Well, there are some trade-offs. First is the amount of storage available. The base model for the Quest 3S, the $299 version, has 128 gigabytes of storage. That's a lot of storage, especially if you're just using it for BIM reviews. Uh, it's gonna take quite a few large files, especially with Resolve's novel uh, compression format, before you fill that up. The Quest 3, on the other hand, starts at 512 gigabytes for the 499 base model. So where are the other trade-offs? Well, there's also the display, which is what you're gonna see when you go inside the headset. The Quest 3S has a lower res display. The specific resolution is 1832 by 1920 pixels. On the Quest 3, you're gonna have 2064 by 2208 pixels. So there is a difference there and you do notice it. So on the Quest 3S, when you open apps like Resolve or even the home menu, you are gonna notice the pixels a little more than you would on the Quest 3. And so as you ramp up your usage of VR, and especially if you're using features like Resolve's app portal, where you're pulling up drawings or issues from ACC or Procore or Nuforma, you're gonna to start to feel the impact of that display in the legibility of some of that text. The smaller text is a little bit harder to read. And after the display, there are the lenses through which you see the display. Um, the Quest 3 has what are known as pancake lenses and the Quest 3S has Fresnel lenses, which are more uh, like the lenses on the Quest 2. One of the really differences that you're going to feel as the end user is that there is a smaller field of view on the Quest 3S. It's about 96 degrees horizontally, whereas on the Quest 3, you get 110 degrees horizontally. Another difference in the optics technology is on the pancake lenses, there is a bigger 
what's known as a sweet spot, meaning if you don't get the headset aligned on your head perfectly, it's okay because there's an area through which you're going to see a pretty clear picture no matter where it is. On Fresnel lenses, that area is a little bit smaller. And so that means when you put the Quest 3 S on, you want to make sure it is well adjusted so that you align perfectly with that sweet spot and you're seeing things as clearly as possible. Both the Quest 3S and the Quest 3 now have color pass-through. If you look at the front of these devices, the Quest 3 has the array of three cameras on here. The Quest 3S has these two uh, arrays of cameras that look a little more like your iPhone. And these are used for sensing the world around you and tracking and doing the hand tracking, but it's also used for the color pass-through. The Quest 2, if you recall, had black and white color pass through. And so it really was just a taste of what was possible with mixed reality, but it wasn't actually very uh, useful. Now, with the Quest 3S, you are going to get color pass through. So when you're trying to overlay models on the real world using Resolve's mixed reality mode, you can do that in full color pass through. And you're going to have a very similar experience to what you have on the Quest 3. So those are the details on the differences between the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S. So let's summarize them. They both have the same exact processor, the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2. So performance wise and support for large models is going to be the same on Resolve. The Quest 3S starts at a cheaper price point of 299 and 128 gigabytes, whereas the Quest 3 starts at 499 for 512 gigabytes. The Quest 3S has a lower res display than the Quest 3. And finally, the lens technology is different on both of these. And I summarized some of the differences and they both have cameras on the front for sensing the world. So the tracking will be the same and you get color pass through on both of them. So now that you know the differences, my recommendation to you is to really think about what you are doing with these devices and who will be using them. As a starter, the Quest 3S is an incredible option because of the price point and the fact that it really packs a punch with its processor that's comparable to the Quest 3. As you start to scale your usage, you might want to start using more advanced functionality in apps like Resolve, where you're gonna to start to feel the resolution a little more, and then you wanna to upgrade to a Quest 3. Um, if you're a power user, I would recommend investing in the Quest 3 if you're using it regularly. Uh, again, the, the optics just have that nicer sweet spot. The display is higher res. I also think the thinner profile is a lot nicer for traveling. It fits in my backpack a lot more easily than the Quest 3S. But at the end of the day, if you are comparing the Quest 3S's ability to open huge Navisworks and Revit files against the Quest 3, they're gonna be identical. And Resolve's Wellington engine is going to run smoothly on both of them, and you're gonna have access to all the same functionality on both devices. It's really just a matter of some of the additional hardware bells and whistles, like the optics and the resolution. Comfort-wise, we've found that they're pretty comparable and our team likes both. So whether you are buying your first set of VR headsets for your project team, or you're looking to scale up, I hope the information in this video helps you in determining which one is better. Some people are buying mixes of Quest 3s and Quest 3Ss, depending on the different needs. Some people are just starting with Quest 3Ss because you can buy more uh, with the same price that you'd be able to buy um, a few Quest 3s. It is really a matter of use case, but I wanted to make sure to clearly lay out for all of you what the differences are because our team does get asked this and uh, it's important to know where one is better than the other. And we know that price is an important differentiator. So we wanted to make sure to help you understand those trade-offs. Again, the Quest 3S is newer, but it is not an upgraded Quest 3. I would say it is an upgraded Quest 2 or a Quest 3 Lite. Thanks for listening. I hope this was educational. Let us know in the comments uh, which one you picked and let us know how you like Resolve on either one. Thanks for watching.